Hey guys, uh, I'm glad that we decided to take the last week off, all according to plan, right? Wink, just like we said we would. Wink, wink. Um, I'm all moved in uh, in Cleveland. I'm in my apartment. It's kind of a hole, but um, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this right here. That looks like a door. Uh, you probably have a door over there. Well, you'd be wrong. That's where a door used to be. In fact, both of those walls didn't used to be here a week ago. They built them for me. Yeah. It's kind of a mess. But anyway, um, I moved in. Uh, let's let's get to things that I'm supposed to talk about from your other movies. Um, so, Neil, you mentioned head exploding, and, when you, and then you read something from your religious book. I did not mean head exploding in the way that I was going to be lost. I meant head exploding like I was going to be so frustrated with them misinterpreting science that it would make me so angry that my head would explode. Um, as it turns out, I don't think that's going to happen. I've talked with my friend more about the book, um, now that I'm here, and I'm with the guy who gave it to me, and it's, it's not trying to prove God through science, but more say that the two are not mutually exclusive, and it's much more of a middle road sort of, hey, it's basically asking atheists not to be such dicks about, um, well, not basically that, but it's, it's, it's like, science can exist with God, basically. It's being like, let's stop fighting, guys. And I'm okay with that. I'll, so I'll, I'll finish that up. Warcraft 3 versus WoW. And I know, wow, we haven't made a movie in forever, so it's so weird that I'm talking about this. But um, yes, they're different games. Uh, I hate WoW. And whenever I'm playing Warcraft 3, they're like, oh, you play Warcraft? As if Warcraft 3 is WoW. And they're compl it's, it's like saying Tetris is Pong is, is on par with it. And that's like the only example I can give because it still relates to video games, but it's something that everyone knows. Or like, I don't know, football is hockey, I guess? I don't know. It, they're just completely different games. I mean, yes, they're both games. Yes, they both have the name Warcraft in it, but they are like, wow, you pay for on a monthly basis, and you it, the gameplay is entirely different than Warcraft 3, um, which you pay for once. Unless you buy the expansion, in which it's twice. Anyway, um, other than that, my favorite Doctor Who bad guy is... I, I, I'm, I haven't done the research on this. I should have, but I haven't. The Master, I believe, is what his name was. The other Time Lord. I loved him. He was so badass. Like, he was the best bad guy ever, um, in my opinion. And this is only watching the new series. Uh, he was just so deliciously evil, like, ah, oh. and then, and then his last little fuck you to the doctor, like, no, I won't let, I, I don't even want to spoil it, because I know Jake hasn't, hasn't seen it, but Neil, you know what I'm talking about, in that he wins by dying, sort of, I, I don't think that spoiled it entirely, but, anyway, um, and my favorite Mel Brooks movie quote, <laughs> Like all of the memorable movie, movie, memorable movie quotes with Mel in Mel Brooks films are either racist jokes or dick jokes. Um, I'm just gonna list off my two, the only two Mel Brooks movies that come to mind that I just love, and that would be Blazing Saddles and uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights. Growing up as a kid, I liked Men in Tights, and uh, watching it now, I don't, I don't like it as much. But I thought it was silly, the blind guy feeling up the statues and all of that. I can't come up with a particular quote from it, though. I The only one I can actually think of is, From this day forward, all toilets will be known as Joms. And Patrick Stewart says that, and that's not... I'm not going to go with my favorite, but it's, uh, it's up there. Anyway, um, guys, I am curious where you have all been. Um, I'm a little stressed out at the moment, because I'm still working for Adobe, as, as I said, and Jake, you remember me saying that. Um, yes, you did interpret that right. Um, I'll be doing part-time, but right now I'm still technically full-time, but I have not been working full-time. Um, I've been working very part-time, um, and it's it's making me kind of like, eh, am I doing enough work? And so I'm, I'm looking at code now, and I'm, <sighs> my mind is just everywhere. And I mean, I maybe when I get back into it, it'll just be great. I'm a little sad about my thesis. I talked with my advisor about what I was going to do for my thesis. I was going to make a, a robotic arm that fenced and strap it to a dummy and use it as a training thing. Sorry, I dropped I dropped a, a lock. Anyway, um, 
he basically said, you're not going to do that because no one's ever made a human, a, a human sized mechanical arm with seven degrees of freedom, uh, that can move at the speeds that you're talking about with the accuracy you're talking about it. You're, you're just not going to do it. It's not feasible. And I was like, okay. And so we, we talked about a lot of ideas and then we talked about, well, maybe I could just make an arm that just does this and stabs and just does the forward backward. And I talked to my other advisor and he was like, great. And then we talked about the particular mechanism that they wanted me to use. And the first guy goes, well, why don't you just make something that jumps? And I was like, totally not the same thing. But they, my advisors are like, ooh, a jumping robot. That could be fun. I mean, it's been done, but everything's been done. But it's, it's, I like fencing and I like AI and I like computer vision and I like robotics towards the prosthetic aspect. I don't like jumping pogo stick robots. I think they're really cool, but I don't think it's something that I can get into as like a project for a year and a half or, well, seven months or eight months. That's nowhere near it. That's like half a year and a half. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. <sighs> and I'm doing the Adobe stuff and gah. But anyway, I've only taken three classes this semester and they're they're fun. Um, machine learning, um, computational intelligence, and di digitalization. It's not computer vision. It's um, image processing, digital image processing, which uh, is like MRI and Fourier transform and image, like lots of crazy image stuff, which might work well with Adobe. Who knows? My girlfriend's instant messaging me and I want her to hang out with me. We're going to get hot wings. It's midnight, so we only have an hour left before we can get them. Guys, I hope to hear from you this week. I'll see you guys later.